click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends now we are going to consider the concept of half subtractor let's start the discussion with half subtractor now we have already seen the half adder then we have seen full adder after that we have half subtractor now for subtraction purpose half subtractor circuit is used let's see its explanation so first point of half subtractor is it is used to subtract two single bit binary numbers here you are getting two outputs as difference and borrow now we will see the block diagram the block diagram for half subtractor is this denotes half subtractor two inputs should be there a and b and two outputs should be there difference and borrow difference and borrow now truth table comes now for the truth table you have to focus on number of inputs now here two inputs are there you will write as a and b and how many outputs are present over here difference and borrow so two inputs are there means how many combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so let's start with the explanation case 1 when a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 0 then difference equals to 0 minus 0 is 0 and borrow is also equals to 0 this is about the first case now if you consider case 2 when a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 1 then what you will get difference you will get here as 1 and borrow as 1 because 0 minus 1 is 1 but borrow should be 1 that's why we have written here 1 so 1 1 at the output side you have to write after that case 3 when a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 0 then difference equals to 1 minus 0 is always 1 and borrow is equals to 0 because simply subtraction you have to perform binary subtraction 1 minus 0 is 0 so you just have to write here 1 and 0 after that you have to consider case 4 when a equals to 1 b equals to 1 then difference equals to what 1 minus 1 is 0 and borrow also 0 this is the simple subtraction so 
we have got the output for difference and output for borrow. Now the step is to get the final minimized equation using KMAP. So the KMAP for difference is it is a two variable K map. So we will draw like this A B 0 1 0 1. Then here 0 1 2 3. After that we have just 1 1 you have to mention because SOP expressions we are going to consider and in that also logic 1 we are going to consider. So, grouping part comes, here we can't make any group, that's why individually we have to write the equation for this one is A, B bar and for this one is A bar, B. So, finally you will write the equation for difference as A, B bar plus a bar b in reduced form you will write here as a x or b now k map for borrow if you see here the output of borrow then two variable k map you require A and B 0 1 0 1 0 1 2 3 after that you have to just mention logic once because we are considering the SOP expressions so logic one you will apply here because for one you are getting logic one so grouping is not possible individual one you have to take and the equation for this one is a bar B so finally you will write here equation for borrow as a bar b. So in this way we are getting the equations for difference and borrow with the use of kmap and the equations are for difference you are getting a x or b and in expanded form it is a b bar plus a bar b and for borrow it is a bar b so we will design the circuit for difference so realization for difference we are going to draw x or gate x or gate having two inputs a and b so finally you are getting difference as a x or b or with the use of the basic logic gates the diagram is a and for b bar not gate is required now for next term a bar and b in this way you have to consider the basic logic gates after that you have to take the addition of these two terms and finally you are getting the equation for difference we are denoting by d so a b bar plus a bar b because here you are getting a b bar and here you are getting a bar b this is the logic diagram for difference now for borrow the logic diagram is just you have to draw and gate and you just have to mention a bar b 
so if you have given input a the output of a the output of not get is a bar and here symbol b is there so finally b is equals to a bar b this is the logic equation for borrow and this is the logic equations for difference in this way we can explain the half subtractor circuits considering the truth table k maps and realization part thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda